हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर स्विंग इंस्ट्रक्टर सारा हेयर एंड आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम लाइव अगेन एंड इफ यू आर हेयर जस्ट से हाय सो बेसिकली टुडे टुडे आई एम डूइंग दिस लाइव क्लास टू एक्सप्लेन आर क्वेश्चन डेट आई गॉट यस्टरडे वन ऑफ माय व्यूअर जस्ट गॉट दिस सुइंग मशीन ब्रॉदर जे सी फोर्टीन एंड शी वॉज फेसिंग सम इशूज सो आई आस्क हर डेट आई यू आर पिकनर because uh, the problems that she uh, she was facing i fe- uh, i feel that uh, these are the problems that beginners usually um face and uh, she said yes so i thought to make a video um a guide uh, hi how are you <laughs> so i thought to make a live video and uh, to explain some of the questions that usually um beginners um beginner faced uh, when they first um, have an interaction with um, their sewing machine so it's not about one thing uh, let me explain that this is not about the brand or about the machine or about the model of the machine it is because you are a beginner and believe me or not this is very interesting issue um uh, interesting fact that uh, your machine knows that you are a beginner <laughs> so maybe you find it um, funny but uh, this is a reality because um how you deal with your machine uh she uh, immediately know that yes <laughs> some beginner is telling me so she start showing you the issues so i thought uh, step by step i will define all these issues and if any um question you can ask me and uh, sorry for a uh, um very long break for my live videos because i was facing some health issues so anyways if you are here uh we can start our lesson see first thing when you buy a machine as a beginner or you um have already a machine at your home and you start the swing in uh, adventure is uh, uh, that is that machine is okay this is the very common uh, question in beginner's mind is this machine okay is this the best machine or uh, guys is my voice is clear because uh, due to my throat issue i am speaking a little slow so um actually every machine is a good machine during my this um and these years experience because uh, even in my diploma when i i started as a beginner most of the time in my first year i um, blame on the machine oh Uh, like uh, i explained to my teacher lo it's, it's not working it's a uh, uh, still breaking thread and all this thing and i remember that when she started my teacher started that same machine it was like um, with having no issue so at that stage it was a little bit strange thing but uh, with time i learned how your machine interact with you and how she know <laughs> that you are a beginner and she start showing you the issues actually some signs some signals that we give our, our machine 
that yes we are a beginner so i will explain you step by step that how your machine knows that you are a beginner and how you can cheat her so see first thing is um uh, i was talking about the model and all these thing when you are a beginner you are so much confused about which machine i should buy and if you already had home is is it the right th- machine and all these thing you can start with any machine it's not an issue the second thing is how to um, thread your machine so i think nowadays this is not a difficult thing because your machines are written in the numbers on it uh, as you can see here very clearly nowadays this white type of machines have clearly written all these number you just have to follow your uh, numbers c1 and 2 and 3 uh, four and this hook means five so all these uh, numbers are written so after threading your machine uh, how you know that what all these dials are for this very easy that uh, you just follow your um, uh, follow your uh, manual if you got a new machine but if you don't have that uh, manual uh no worries you just have to know your machine model and you can check on google so nowadays there is no issue of uh, lack of information so you can um get as easy, uh, easily any tutorial about your particular machine okay after threading uh when beginner starts stitching uh hi amina hope you are doing well if any question let me know so after uh starting your machine beginners usually have a issue that is very common breaking the thread so sorry guys so this is because you are not um you are not perfect about handling the speed of uh, uh speed of your uh, machine i'm not uh, i'm from uh, basically if you are asking my nationality so i'm from pakistan so uh, uh the um i was um, telling you that the um th- uh, breaking the thread is the main common issue that uh, usually a uh, beginner face so because you are not uh, very uh, good by handling your your pedal your uh, it's like if you um, ever uh, have a chance to drive it's same like uh, driving so if you uh, push your pedal or your gas um so much obviously uh your car will hit somewhere <laughs> so you can't blame the car or model of the car it's only because you are a beginner and you don't know how to handle it so that's how that's why you face that issue so for that my tip is that always uh put a pressure like this much that in a one one um step only take three four stitches stop uh up your feet then three four stitches then up your feet like this you have to uh, do don't uh, try to follow the uh, regular 
uh, swing people that are uh, that stitch regularly don't follow that and don't be stress yourself to be like that because it will automatically come with time the speed and uh, perfection will come at with time so don't worry about that and try to make some practice on the rough fabric so you don't don't directly go to your final project because you will be uh, you feel you feel stressed so that maybe i um, i will make some mistake so it's it's a good idea uh, um always start with rough fabrics but uh, fabric should be not be very rough like so old that you you will not enjoy your journey so it should be like um, good quality but uh, a bit cheap so you can practice a lot on that fabric and after when you um, understand that how much pressure actually this machine need the pedal pressure then only start with your final project so this is the one thing to avoid this um, thread break issue okay then the second thing is the beginner are so scared of oh i will break my needle uh, i will break my needle <laughs> i will break my needle and most of the time my students are keep saying that oh uh, madam um, i think i will take your needle uh, i i used to say them it's okay it's just a needle so don't be so scared of this thing and eventually they break the needle okay uh if if they are uh, unattended if i'm not uh, getting attention to them <clears throat> I mean giving attention to them <coughs> only then they break the needle otherwise you break needle because uh, the, um, yesterday I got this question that is I got a new machine and it's keep breaking the needle <coughs> so it's not the machine machine sorry guys I have some issue in my throat but anyways so because you are putting too much pressure and you are pulling your thread like this, so there is lot of pressure on your needle so needle eventually break okay so don't put uh, one thing is don't uh, speed up your machine and don't pull your fabric from here because when you pull your fabric it will eventually break your needle okay then again uh, if you are working with multiple layers so be patient uh, because multiple layers especially in these wide machines take a little uh, effort to um, go through with this part okay so slow down your uh, machine don't go very fast if you do fast and you try to pull your fabric because it's multiple layer and it's stuck here eventually you will break your needle okay and third thing maybe that your tension is too tight that's why your thread is breaking or your needle is uh, uh, needle is breaking again and again so <clears throat> try to adjust your tension and if uh, one of the reason also that uh, uh, i explain in one way of my video that your thread quality is not good sometime so i'll also pay attention to your thread quality try to get a good uh, quality thread uh, and if it's too old uh, it uh, try to get a new one so that you can enjoy your sewing journey and uh, 
one tip i always give my students that uh, every time you face any issue in uh, during your stitching if machine is stuck if the uh, thread is breaking if anything any type of issue you so very first uh, step to resolve that issue is unthread all your machine remove your thread from the upside all the way from here and from down and rethread it this is the very first step and most of the time only by doing this simple thing you will resolve your issue believe me try this as a beginner every time if you face anything any issue just remove all thread from here and from down and uh, with some patience rethread it again okay and you will solve your issue and again when you're okay with your machine next thing is that beginner have a complaint that we are not getting straight stitch so straight stitching is something um, that is not a magic that is not a very uh, i mean the thing that you can't achieve as a beginner only thing is that you have to follow um, the correct method if you don't follow correct method you you will take years to get the straight stitching and neat stitching so and uh, in the beginning uh, uh, be more focused on your straight stitching and neat work rather than your speed and finishing the project if you do the neat work in starting but with very slow speed uh, your, your project that uh, one can uh, do in a one hour you take it one week no worries about that it happens and only this is the way that you get the neat stitching that you will slow down and each and every step you have to follow so here is a guideline you can follow this for your straight stitching and here also you can put here a tape or any mark and try to make your um, fabric straight like this okay and uh, if you move it like this way or this way obviously you will not get your stitch uh, stitch straight and um, if any question as a beginner you can ask me <clears throat> because these are some issues that i also face in during my diploma and usually um, these are very common issues and believe me it will resolve with time and with techniques and it is not, nothing to do with your a newly bought uh, sewing machine because usually we uh, blame our machine as a beginner so every model is good if you handle it same machine if you go uh, give to uh, advanced level person uh, she can handle it very perfectly so it means that some techniques that you are not following that's why you are having issues with your machine and these plastic machine don't need uh, oil the most common issue these plastic machines have is only the tension issue <laughs> that give you tension so because uh, these are delicate so you feel uh, you have to adjust your tension make sure it's not too tight or too low 
the that when it is uh, black machines don't have that much tension issues that are more rough and tough type of uh, machines but uh, for this machine you have to deal with the tension issues every time but if you are uh, you have uh, enough budget you can uh, get a machine computerized machines that have even so intelligent that they adjust your tension according to the situation so but that is obviously not uh, something that everyone can afford so only thing is just slow down don't be in a rush and try to make some practice on some scraps and uh, every time uh, if you are having any issue just re uh, thread remove your thread and thread it again and check your th um, thread quality and if your machine is um, uh, i mean old you uh, can change your needle because uh, sometime old needle also give you uh, some, so much issues and uh, check again all your dials all should be on uh, there and start with the cotton fabric because cotton fabric has less issues if you work with the net uh, sorry knit uh, fabric so knit fabric is um, something that will give you a lot of um, <coughs> a lot of headache maybe so even at a beginner level um, it requires some uh, uh, techniques to handle that fabric so don't don't take challenges at uh, first in our uh, whole um, first year we only stitch on cotton we are not allowed to use any other fabric so you can imagine that how important it is to start with the right fabric if you directly jump to the chiffon and knit fabric and all these things so obviously you will get a uh, bit trouble so keep doing the practice don't lose uh, hope and don't be get uh, upset uh, if you are having an issue i'm your swing instructor here if any question just let me know i will uh, uh, in the comment i will definitely reply you and uh, this is a skill that you are going to learn for your lifetime and it's very useful especially in these times so I think um, that is enough for today. If any question, just let me know. And you can check my playlist for especially for beginners, if anything, from body measurement and all these things. And <clears throat> I will sure upload more beginner friendly videos because. Um, and also I'm planning to do on uh, Saturdays a live session for beginners for, uh, from scratch, pattern making and all these things. Just don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you really like this video. Thank you for being with me. Take care. Bye bye.